Dear Lawrence. Anna, nice to be back. Nice to be back on track with yes. some tactics. Also for you at home, check out the website, Chess Base News. And the games are below. So let's do some tactics training. Let's keep our mind sharp. At the end of the week, it's always something I look forward to. Lawrence, what do we have Absolutely. on the plate today? Yeah, so today, um, as we actually spoke about, uh, well, we've done this before, but we've had uh, shows where we've looked at a specific player in history. And today um, I've chosen to have a look at a few games from the genius that is Rashid Neshmetdinov. Now, do you know a lot about him, uh Anna, have you, have you heard the name? I only know one thing about him because uh, yes. when I was doing the um, the player type model with Carsten Müller, which is about yes. the pragmatic activist mm -hmm. theorist, um, then his name fell because he is considered the hyper activist, one of the sharpest players out there on a super high level. Is that correct? Absolutely correct, yes. I mean, he for many people was kind of, you know, um, one of the, even though he was never a grandmaster, this is the point. He only got to like 2455 or 2450 officially. Um, he is still considered basically one of the greatest attacking players of all time. Wow. Um, which is, which is shocking really, because, uh, you know, how often do you hear a, an international master being, you know, classified in the same group sure, as the yeah, likes sure. of Tal and whoever else. Um, and he uh, uh, played some brilliant games. He was also a great checkers player, or, uh, you know, checkers with the... Yes. Yeah, yeah, he was also, he was also a, uh, a great checkers player as far as, I, as, far as I can, as far as I can tell. Um, and, uh, you know, but when it comes to chess, what he's remembered for is great sacri um, sacrificial uh, games. He has uh, some some great games. I, I even think they did a, a book of him, like Neshmetodinov's Best Games of Chess. I think that was released like a few years ago. So they even did, yeah, they even did a book on him. Nice. And nice. yeah, he was just he was just a wonderful. Uh, player, a uh, great personality, apparently. He was from, uh, I think, Kazakhstan originally, when it was, oh, okay. well, of course, it was the Soviet Union um, at the time. But he had a bunch of brilliant, like just straight out brilliant moves as well. But they, they're not all going to be discussed today. But uh, yeah, so, uh, but he put together wonderful combinations, of course, as the tactic shows. So, this is all about, you know, players like Nishmetodinov and how he used to beat grandmasters. And uh, we're looking at the first example um, where we have uh, White Nishmetodinov against Estrin. Estrin was a top player of the time in a typical looking position, which you can get from a variety of different openings. Right? This is a position, a type, very standard looking position. True. Um, so the question is then, uh, you know, um, what should White play? White to play, and let's see if we can reinforce some of the things we've been learning over these past few weeks. Yes. Everybody, check out the description in the video because we have a complete playlist of all trans tactics. You can, they're timeless. You can watch them whenever you feel like for your tactics training. It's uh, probably, I think it's more than 20 hours of material, meanwhile. So that's something cool. And um, for you at home, go with the tactics. Try to figure them out on yourself. Doesn't matter your niveau, doesn't matter your rating. Pause the video and um, try to find the best possible move for white with looking at uh, the right tactics. Now, okay, um, my turn. I will try to... Yes, please. So I'm looking at a couple of candidates. So... What we have learned so far for tactics, as always, is let's go for the checks first. So there are two checks. Mm -hmm. One doesn't look that tempting. That would be the check where we take the um, the bishop. But that 
Correct. Seems that doesn't look. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't look that tempting because right. like, we t black takes back, and I don't see any uh, anything else. But on the other hand, the check on h6 looks far more interesting because we can retake with the queen, and then might have a better attacking position. But yeah, I'm I'm also not sure about this. So okay, so let's let's, let's analyze both of those first. Okay. So. First and foremost, yeah, as you said, the knight on it, you know, that this check is obviously in the air, or this check is the first two moves you, you look at in terms of checks. And your instinct is right. I mean, why would we give up a, just a beautiful knight here on f5 for this bishop? You would give it up in the, in, the, in, the, in the event that there was a forcing win thereafter, and it was very simple. So if that made your life simple, then you would do that. But it's clear that after knight takes, either queen takes or rook takes, I don't even know, probably queen takes. Um, there doesn't look to be a straightforward follow-up here, to be honest. Um, even rook takes might be better, I don't know. Um, you know also possible. But it, it just feels as though we're giving up a, a fantastic knight there for the bishop, and it's not necessary. So then we move on to your other suggestion of knight takes pawn. Now, this move as well, uh, clearly has to be calculated. But there's something about the fact that Black has got a lot of pieces on the sixth rank already that bothers me here. So, for example, a typical defensive mechanism would be a move like knight to h7. We've only really got two pieces in the attack. And knight to h7 protects g5 and clears the sixth rank so that we can block checks. And again, intuitively, it feels as though we haven't got enough here as white. Yeah, um, I agree. So we can kind of very quickly rule out both of those concepts. So what else could we possibly, what, what's the next stage? What's the next phase? Is it's not checked. Yeah, so what we've done already is by checking out those moves, and this is always the important thing. You have to follow through with them, take a look at them, play some moves, play the potential defensive moves, to, to get some ideas and clues. So I have two more moves and I, I like one more than the other. Another mm -hmm. one would be just taking a piece now without the check threat, but mm -hmm. a threat which has to be immediately uh, taken care of, which is taking on G7 now with the knight. Right. Mm -hmm. I also think this is not correct. I mean, the king takes um, and I do not see there is a check on g3 with the queen but or pushing the pawn on e5 but i do not really see a good follow up okay but here comes my number one candidate move now okay uh, and I, what's I, your I, number one i candidate? just believe it might be correct because it is another immediate threat and it looks it looks good this is the knight going to g5 mm. oh that's interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting. I didn't probably wasn't. I mean, it's an interest. It's certainly a candidate move. I hadn't considered it, but okay. it's it's a move. I, I thought that was okay. correct almost. It looked very good, but yeah, probably. Okay, so so, so I thought knight, knight goes to okay. g five. Yeah, pawn and takes. And if the pawn takes back, because I think this has to be addressed too. But then again, the queen could just move away to d seven, maybe. But let's just take for so the sake want... of it, and okay. then the queen takes, and then we have a checkmate threat. And right. I, for now, only can see. Um, well, maybe, or uh, maybe very simply. G six is already. G six is possible, oh, even yeah. just bishop f eight. Bishop uh, f8, uh, yeah, check on h6, six king goes... 6 and just king h7. Okay, yeah, got a point there. Right, it doesn't... feels like there's actually yeah. a lot of resources, even the worst case, the worst case scenario. Is that was king. another idea, yeah. And if you take, I can swing my queen over, and even this position might not this be that This looks clear. good for black, to be honest. Right, yeah. I mean, that's the worst case, but... Here is black, and, and as you said, your move G6 also stops mate. Yeah, okay, so There's that 
doesn't also quite work. Didn't work. Now, mm -hmm. okay, we continue, and then there is another obvious move which I didn't even touch yet, which is of course e5. Mm -hmm. so, Hitting the knight. But then the knight goes to d5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is will be the well the. If the queen goes to g4, we have this move once again with the queen going, the black queen going to g6. Exactly. Just, the queen comes to g6. It's distinguishing everything. Exactly. And Unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So I think I have all the candidate moves which are on the mind, which, which were some threats, which were some yeah. checks and some, some peace taken. So there must be something else. Have you found it at home already is the question. Curious if they have. Um, but is it, but was uh, E5 the right direction? No, no it right? wasn't. Yeah, so let's okay, go back no. to the start. Mm -hmm. So what else could there be? I mean, of course we have immediately queen going to G3 and just threatening checkmate but then also again the knight on h5 yeah not h5 always Ooh, exists that is more complicated than i thought actually mm -hmm. okay okay lawrence i think to not delay the show too too okay. much uh you have yeah. to give i i didn't solve it yeah I'm so disappointed you, it, of myself the the good news is you you did actually mention the correct move you just didn't follow it through oh, once okay it and the move is to actually take on g7 now after king takes you said after check, I don't really see anything, which is correct. The check doesn't provide anything. But what you've done is by playing knight to g7, you've actually given yourself an, uh, a moment to replenish the knight to f5. So now this knight on d4 mm. can gain time hitting the queen. And now knight f5 on the next move is very, very nasty because h6 is under attack. And actually, this position is just over. We're threatening knight takes queen with check, so the queen has to move somewhere. It can't even go here because it runs into checks. So it has to go somewhere like this. And after check, actually, the game is just immediately resigned. King here, queen takes here is mate. Same if king goes to h8 or h7. So the only move is king j8. And now your move, queen g3, of course, makes sense. Oh, and my um, just, to follow, just to finish it off, because it's really cute, Black can block and play the move rook g6, and it looks as though, oh, maybe black is just about oh, that surviving. That is nice. But now you have this x-ray against the queen. That is beautiful. On c8, and all of a sudden, yeah, the game is just over. So just like that, and that's what Nesh Medidinov used to do. He used to find these little, like, points in the position where he would sacrifice brutally and just win. And, you know, again, it looked... It looks like a position where you wouldn't be surprised if black survives, but this move just wins immediately. It's quite, quite extraordinary. That is fascinating, actually. It is. Ooh, and that was... La la. That, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I hope you at home did a bit better than me. Um, well, I like you got it. the move, but after here, you, you analyze yes. the check, but you stopped there. So you yes. had to just take a moment more. And I appreciate that you didn't uh go like ah come on arnie go follow up because you just let me figure it out on my own because yeah it's part of the training exactly we have to follow through with those things so okay, okay. let's 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 so let's look at the next one it's like a, okay. yeah hey, let's check another one okay so this is another one here where um this is neshmetodinov against kasparian from riga 1955 and uh getting this one is not that tough because you get there via pure brute force calculation and you get there via um uh yeah removing all the possibilities basically this, it, this is one of those very um nice finite uh combinations where the there is a, a limited number of responses and 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 so you get there in the end by uh, uh, by uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's um, you get to the solution by uh, what's I've forgotten the term. Um, <laughs> even forgotten English. Ausschlussverfahren. Yeah, something like that. 
<laughs> I don't know the word either. <laughs> anyway, oh, for you at home, stop the video right now. Think about it. Check it on the board. If you're a bit more advanced, use your head. Only think about the moves in your head. Look at the calculations. Take your time. Take five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. Take a couple of days and put the video on again. Okay, so I immediately need, I need to take the night on G6 yes. with check. There's no other way. So th this is just the first move you look yeah. at. And again, just to re reiterate, why do, we, why do we do that? The reason we do that is because it's the only, well, it's not the only check. There is another check here on, on C1, but- It just um, falls apart. The well, we might run into rook, rook exactly. here check or something, you know, and so- if we put our rook there, then the pawn moves to C3 and then- I Yeah, think... for example, after here, here, and it's clear that things are getting slightly out of control again. I mean, even this might be good for white. This might still be good for white, yeah. but it's not yeah. forcing. So you have to look at the queen sacrifice on g6. Exactly. Because after king takes, it's obviously he, he's not taking with check. And now white's follow-up is fairly straightforward. Okay. Is it, though? Because I am still thinking. I yes. mean, the, the most natural move, and I think 90% of everybody watching this would take the rook on f1 to f6 with a check. Well, that's the correct move. Okay. And we can get there very easily because the bishop is pinned, it can't move. And if we move this oh, rook off the king bishop here, is pinned. right, the bishop is pinned, right? So that's an important feature. Now, if we move the other rook and the king comes back, it's clear things have gone horribly wrong. Because if we go here, in the worst case, black takes here, and most players just take that rook off immediately without uh, spending a moment. Yeah. Black would just have too many pieces. So you have to go rook here. There is no other move that exists in this position. Fair enough, okay. yeah. Now the king has got two squares. So does moving the king to this square make sense? Not really. I mean, you're blocking your own rook. So most players are going to put the king on the dark square here. Okay. So now we carry on. Now we follow up with the rook g7 check. So this move is certainly possible. But this is the first moment where we would have to do some calculation. The other good news that I want to talk about is we, all, we, we often talk about insurance policies. We know we have a draw here it's True. by moving this rook up and down. There's no way black can avoid the draw. So there is no risk for white here. So this is where you would have a little thing. Now, rook g7 check forces black's reply king h5. And now things are a little bit tricky, aren't they? Because let's have a look. Let's try and understand. And maybe this is what Black was actually relying on because Bishop G4 would be checkmate if it wasn't for the fact that Brooks H G4 wins. Um, G4 check, another check, runs into King H4, and suddenly you can see very quickly there are no more checks for White and the position is losing for White because the Rook is going to come down and we can't manufacture anything. So when you play, when you get to this position here, before you play Rook G7 check, you actually have to tuck, you actually have to, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, take a moment, take your time. Because one mistake in these sorts of positions uh, will, uh, will, can potentially ruin you, basically. Okay. One little mistake can, can ruin you. Wow, that's another tricky one. Well, I was pretty certain that um, that would be the next move. Yeah, and it looks like it looks like it should be the right move. Yeah, here. yeah. But ironically, after rook g7 checking king h5, there's no good follow up. The other check that exists is rook f5 check, of course. But now king after king up, h6, so nothing is going on. Yeah. Right after king h6, um, there's just nothing going on here, basically. King h6, and the position is whatever. No, it's just, it's yeah, I mean, it's just where he's, we've got no checks. We have to move yep. the rook yep. clearly too slow. Okay, so we go back. Okay, and it's King time G5. for you at home again to pause the video because you can do that. I cannot. Right. I have, <laughs> I have one minute on the clock left, and I have to find the final combination move. Well, there's not that many other moves. 
I, I would, if I would only have two seconds left, I would go rook f5, <laughs> rook f6, rook f5, rook f6. And uh, get... If you had no time left, repetition. but you would go rook f5, and then you would ask yourself, okay, what if he goes king g6 here? Okay. Has anything changed? And there's something clearly has changed. And you can yes, get Yes, I see. Now the rook can go to f6. The other rook, though, the one on f7, and give a check. Exactly. So this can go to f6. And now the difference being that... Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's now we can beautiful. give... Exactly. Now we can give the check on g5. Black has only got one move. And... Can we checkmate with the bishop also, not that often. Beautiful. Right. Thanks to the fact the h5 is blocked. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. It's all forcing. There are no other moves. And the same goes that after king h6, we have pretty much the same thing. We give check. This, we just have the same. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You're right. And if he goes here, we can just throw in a check first. That's all you have to do. Just follow the checks. Oh. And... That is so cool. Oh, my goodness. I'm out of shape either. Or I don't know. I think that's No, I that's mean, it's great. just, I mean, you know, this exercise here just teaches you the power of following the checks yeah. in, in positions where your opponent's replies are very limited. And that's, that's how it ended with Bishop my F5 main. Gosh. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Very beautiful. So, All right. Let's take one more. Now, this is a very, very, very special one, in my opinion, because oh, okay. um, the position is wild. This is the game Neshmet Dinov against Lengil from 1963. And it's white to play, but it actually looks as though white is in a bit of trouble here somehow, because e6 and d7 is, is currently covered. So, you know, a move like queen e6 check doesn't exist. The knight would love to do something, but white's pieces for the for the time being are kind of stopping it. And I mean, in general, it just doesn't look um, look that obvious. But Neshmet Dinov came up with a, a a wonderful concept here uh, to to win the game. Yeah. And this is where, again, you're going to you're going to be put to the test. So everybody at home as well, stop your video. Try and go through the process because you, you get into the right process and you make your life easy. Yeah. So yeah. forcing moves, checks, captures. And then when that doesn't work or if that doesn't work, then you move on to something else. So pause here and then we'll discuss in a minute. Yeah. There's unfortunately loads of checks. But let's really take a look at them. So yeah, let's take a look. So rook d7 check, the queen takes, and I think okay, we can stop there, right? We know that's not correct. That cannot, it cannot follow. Correct. Up. No, cannot be the correct. The same applies okay. with the queen. So no, Going no checks. D7. No checks. Clearly, then right. e6. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still. It is tempting to also go to e6 check, and then the, the queen. Yeah, and then the okay. the knight takes because there are yes, yeah, it, it. You see, kind of a little bit of a tiny bit of a pattern maybe. Yes. But then there's just two little pieces left. It cannot Correct. work. Okay. We can yeah conclude this too. So let's get back again because okay. there is just simply no. I didn't. Follow okay. up. Yeah. No. Okay. So. So, um, yeah, the other checks: queen takes f6 and queen takes e5 are also pretty much They're out. Helpless. Yeah. Yep. So what I'm looking at the whole time, though, is to to give a threat now. And that, the the threat I'm looking at is, queen going to g6. Yeah. Now, the threat is that the knight goes to f5, exactly, and yep. then the rook to d6 check yeah. mate, as far as I yeah. understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the first move that I thought of as well. And the good news is that it might still be good for wine. The reason why Neshmet Dinov didn't play this move is you're correctly, you're absolutely right. Let's say black plays some random move, ignores it, Knight f5 check is curtains because this is mate or 
if you go back here, uh, this is also made. Yeah. Um, the reason why Black didn't do this, sorry, Neshmedinov didn't do this, is because Black has got the very annoying move, nine to d3. That is not even annoying. That's building up a threat on its own. How also, nasty. Yeah. Suddenly, you know, this is the sort of move you can easily miss if you're not nasty. switched on. Nasty. Very, very nasty. So uh, as a result, then, um, we have to... Uh, try something else. Try something else, yeah. So this was my initial reaction as well. I said, I wanted to move the queens, put the knight on f5. And when I first saw this, because I tried to solve all of these things before the show, I, I grew increasingly frustrated because I couldn't get the answer. But I think I have an, another you idea. Have? Yes, I yes, got yes. there in the end. Okay, let's hear your other idea. So because now I'm, I'm already taken the hints in and i actually really think i'm on a very good track i think uh, i'm not 100 percent sure yet because there's so many possibilities so it was needs calculation but i'm thinking of rook d6 wow holy smokes that my, is an interesting my move. idea is to win the queen but i'm afraid it might not work because the knight can interfere after all um i can also, also just go yeah that here, is right? just but then the queen and here and it is it's that's it already ah oh, unfortunate okay <laughs> very unfortunate great idea though well done great idea even i didn't look at this okay. it's a really okay. nice idea i okay. really okay. like it nice yeah yeah, no, it's it's a it's it's a great idea. Thanks a lot. Because so, yeah. um, the concept of winning the queen is important. So, hold on a second. So we say to ourselves, we we throw away the move, but we don't throw away the concept. This is what I always teach. <laughs> throw away the move. So, so there's something about that queen being there. Yes. That we want to. We we want to take advantage of this somehow, right? Clearly. And this is where the genius of the next move comes in. Let's see if you can. <sighs> okay, I, I'll try for another 30 seconds for you at home if you still haven't found it out yet. Let's we've we've had a lot of solutions already. Now there's not too many moves left, so give it another try if you are brave enough. That should trigger some people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, this queen, because, yeah, this is a pattern which looks quite nice, right? Uh, exactly. But how to get her, how to get her, I think, hmm, this is also not working. How many moves are that left even to? Well, ah, I mean. Ah, 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 I didn't think of, I didn't think of knight taking on h5 actually okay so knight taking on h5 that's certainly a move right knight Which, taking on h5 yeah. i mean it's a capture and you threaten queen six of six so this clearly has to be a move to um to calculate maybe here though black is able to just play queen takes pawn just oh no queen. probably once again, he's just holding on here. Just, just, just holding on. By the skin of his teeth. Amazingly. Yeah, so I, I even, th I thought about, uh, no, but that's not so good, no. Yeah, that is, that is very convincing, the queen move to a6. Yeah. Okay, I failed again, unfortunately. Well, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I got there, but it, it took me a while and it, it, and it's, and it's not straightforward at all. So you not, you not finding this is, is really not going to work. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. The move is astonishing. All right. The move is the move knight to e8. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh no. Oh no. It's beautiful, huh? It it's fits so nice. Beautiful. So let's go through it. Oh. So the obvious point is if rook takes knight, we were talking about this queen being unprotected. Queen h7 wins the queen. If king takes knight, oh. now the back rank is unprotected. 
and after this and then this, the mating attack for sure, even though black can win here, you, you, you're not going to survive this under normal circumstances. I mean, white has at least got a draw and probably has got more. Just has to be a bit I, precise. Yeah, I think Rook D, D8 Rook, is... Rook D8 is probably good. There are probably some ways yes, to fall. Yes, something, here, something. But, uh, but Rook D8 Queen is H7 very check. Good. Lot, lots of moves. Uh, queen okay. D8 is also actually working. Maybe. Yeah, Queen D8 yeah, is uh, yeah, anyway, yeah. Look, It'll work. We, we, it, it, you'll find a way. <laughs> so you say to yourself, hold on a second. Well, okay. The threat, by the way, is still Queen takes F6. Mm -hmm. So what happens on the move Queen takes A6? Why can't Black just do that? And now we see the big reveal is that the Knight can now make this oh, amazing oh. move to C7. Oh, after which now suddenly the b5 square becomes available but it doesn't just stop there because after queen c6 believe it or not the most the most accurate move is to slip the queen in to g6 oh first. no oh this, this we is, still win the queen this it's beautiful is this is hardcore this is actually an un incredibly unusual what checkmate mate, yes yeah the most unusual checkmate so we're actually threatening checkmate in one and if you go rook to f8, now the point is that you can give a check. The king can't go to the d file because yeah. the knight takes b4 will win the queen. And so the king goes to e6, and finally you can play something like queen f5 check, and the game is over because here you can give a check on h7, king e8, queen e7 is mate, and yeah, it's just mate actually wherever you go. The king gets mated. Unbelievable. Knight to e8. Now, that's one of the rarest... Um, I've never tactics. seen something so No, I, 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 to be honest, I, I, I don't know anything similar to be brutally and honest. And he really, he played that move, or is it... He played it... that move, yeah. Yeah, he played that move. He was a genius, of course he played that move. He was, he was, he was, he was, a, he was an incredible My genius. Gosh. Um, just a... Goosebumps. Just, yeah, goosebumps. <laughs> he, I, he, he often had, he often... The goosebump thing with him is is, is real. Um, my gosh! Amazing, just an amazing stroke. One of it, one of my favorite moves. And it's not, you know, people are very like. If you look up Neshmet Dedinov in, in, you know, his games, he's got the famous game against Polyugayevsky. He's got the famous game against um, um, who was it against when he was white and he sacrificed the queen. Oh man, I can't Oops, even remember. Oops. He has this amazing queen sacrifice that uh, people remember. But in terms of like just one of his best moves, this is one of his greatest moves. Check out the mega database. A couple yeah. of hundred games, I assume, at least. At least, yeah. I mean, he, he played for like, you know, from the 30s to the to the 50s and maybe even early 60s. So maybe. he should have a few. I've, I've never actually looked him up uh, all his games, but he should have something in the day space. Um, Love it. And okay. our, yeah, and after, have we got time for one more? Um, or not? It's up to you. If not, no problem. Let us do tactics now. 2444. So we will do, we'll, we'll, I don't know what the the aim is today, but we'll just get through it. So this Let's is maybe. Yeah, we have like 10 minutes of nice tactics for you okay. at home. Go to the tactics training section. In the news uh, video, there is a <laughs> wild. Lawrence is browsing through here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh, that's a two thousand four hundred eighty-six difficulty, my friend. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I just thought queen d two and we're winning. Why isn't that winning, by the way? <laughs> Why isn't that? Because the 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 difficulty is too high. <laughs> Queen F6, that's, that's why. why. Okay, so we got a tough one. So the last two were just like made to my set. 2486. That is uh, one of the highest difficulties we've yeah, it actually is actually. ever had, I think. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let I've us got a serious try idea. Try to channel our inner Neshmedinov. Yeah, so there are no checks and there are no captures. So that already makes our life easy, right? Pretty much. So we need, so, so I, the first thing I noticed was this pin. Mm -hmm. Sorry, oh, sugar, it's going to keep on killing me. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I noticed, I only wanted to show the pin. <laughs> Queen to D2, because, because this move obviously 
um, pins the bishop and, yeah, and obviously nearly wins. But black has got the resource queen f6, hitting the knight. Again, I can't demonstrate any of this. It's not letting me. It doesn't let we, me draw we can, we can do that after that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if you would be able to move the pieces in this training, it, that, that would probably ruin the experience for too many people, I assume. Exactly. Since it is kind of a challenge after all. It is. Okay, so... Yeah, so how to counter this? Oh! Um, what are we looking at here? I, 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 I'll, I'm just curious if you do get my my move, basically, or the move that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. No? I thought about <laughs> bishop d1, but... Yeah, bishop d1 I also thought about, but I, it, I don't it believe help. it. Yeah. It doesn't really help, no. So what was your thought, your initial... I thought, thought the move is rook to f2. I haven't clicked it yet. So. Oh, so the idea of rook to f2 is just to move the bishop to f1. We avoid the checks. So queen d4, we can take the bishop. Yeah. And yeah. then if he moves the bishop, we can probably play something like, well, if he goes bishop a4, we can go bishop to d1, hitting the bishop. And then if the queen has to go to a3, then we can think about taking, taking, and then playing knight takes g6. Or playing knight takes g6 at the right moment. Okay. So I'm pretty confident that rook f2 is the move. Well, oh, Lawrence. Okay. Now, now the question is, do we go bishop d1 or bishop d3? Because bishop d3, queen d4, or bishop d3, queen g7 comes back. So I'm pretty sure now we're supposed to attack that bishop. And it's says My so. goodness. My and the goodness. idea is that after that queen, queen here, this is where it's a solve. But it's not completely clear cut. Now, there are a lot. Let's, yeah. let's try and finish this off. I mean, I would just take on g6 now, I guess. You then can, we have our I don't insurance see. again. <laughs> we have insurance, but but there are there are different ways to. It's really interesting. There are actually different ways to insure in this position. Yeah, there's actually a few things. So, for example, I tell you what other thing I'm thinking of here. Oh, the move knight here. Okay. He has to take threatening mate. Yeah. And now to give check or let let's. I'm trying to think. F yeah. Let me let F me F let me exchange. Yeah, exactly. Let me just take this yeah. off first. Go knight here. Check, and now go f4. All forced, yes. He can't go here because this is mate. Wow. And how does he stop rook, uh, rook c3 or rook f3, rook h3? Queen I mean, a3? Queen a, yeah, queen a3, exactly. Exactly. You see, it's, it's never easy. But even <laughs> this, even this, can we play something as, can we play something delicate here? Something like rook e1? Queen C3. Queen C3, exactly. And then Queen Check. G7. Ah, okay. And Rook F3, and we protect the Rook. <gasps> that probably wins. Queen G7, Rook G3. Rook E8. Rook E8, Rook G3. No, Rook, I'm attacking the Queen. Oh. The queen. oh yeah. Oh, you I'm are so right. But it, that doesn't wow. feel completely over. Your move knight takes g6 is obviously the big insurance. And you know what? The real professional way to do this is to play it like this and give the check and win the knight on d7. Not That's... really because it's protected. Ah, like sorry, it's covered. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You see? Even I'm suffering from blindness. Now, that's really interesting. Now, I am going to have a look at this. And the computer likes to go f4 immediately. Does knight f5 win? I'm curious. No, it does not win. Wow. It does not win. There are some resources here for black. So the computer is saying F4 is the F only way to win. F4, oh my Threatening goodness. F5, simply. Just trying to crash through. Well, we're quite lucky that <laughs> we solved it before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was sad. Yeah, that's uh, the difficulty of the tactics that, that you are showing us. Okay, let's get okay. one or two more in. Okay. So, Right, 2246, this one oh, here. Okay. Oh, we have a bishop, that's useful. Yeah, the... Ah, I've kind of seen it. Then. Bishop a3 looks very tempting, yeah, right? Very but tempting. then bishop, bishop c1. c1. And there, I think we have a move. Hmm. Yeah, 
I mean, what what I'm looking at should win. Basically. And then knight c3? Exactly. Okay. Well, correct. Nice. Okay, great. It is threading mate in two ways. Yes. D1 and A2. Very nice. Well done, Anna. Okay. Ooh. Rook takes G3. White to move and win. Now, hold on a second. We are we're, going... We're, we're going... We're going up the board. So we're trying to queen this H pawn. Oh, that's, coming, yeah. that is interesting. An endgame. Mm -hmm. Strong so endgame end riddle. Well, so this one also looks kind of... It looks... The first idea is, of course, rook e8, right? Yeah, rook e8, rook b7 check. Rook, rook e8, e7, then, and maybe... No, no, then just king g6, right? King g6. Okay, and if I take the pawn and go king c3... Oh, rook c8. Okay, king takes... C2, ah, rook takes C5. And then king D2, king and I think it's a draw. It's a draw. Oh, dear. So he's not, black is not allowed to get the pawn. So then again, I'm asking myself, why did the, didn't the rook just go to H6? After rook E8, you mean? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I mean, like, look, he's he went to B6 in, in this position here, right? Ah, I see. Why yeah. didn't he go to h6? If that is a draw. Yeah, I mean, he for sure could have gone to h6. Maybe just king g7. And maybe we get the similar similar things. Maybe. Oh, okay. No, it would be different. Look at this. If, if uh, the rook takes, we take back with our rook. And then if the king goes to c3, we go to h2 with the rook. And I think that's not a draw. Uh, okay. Mm, even that, I'm not sure. C4. Mm. Even that. Hmm, this is very tough. That is tough. That is tough. Okay, what about rook c8 instead? Because now the king cannot move. And if rook b7... Then we go to ah, g6. This is the solution. Well done. And king g6. Is it, right? It yeah, I'm sure it is. It, yeah. There's rook, not much which... No, no. Rook, do, rook right? c8. Yeah, that's the that's the move. I'm pretty sure. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Well done. Yeah, let's, let's try. Look. Well done. Oh. Yeah, and okay. king g7. You just go there, right? Yeah, this is critical. Oh. And we make a queen. Oh, what? no. What? That must be an error with something. Well, 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 no, no, maybe it isn't. Rook c6 now. Holy cow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, are you, yeah, tell yeah, are you yeah. telling me that this is not winning? Uh, um, king b4? That might be... Because the king is Holy. too far away, right? Yeah. It's just wow. out of reach. Is it a draw? This is just a draw. Unbelievable. King b4 is just a draw. Wow. That's actually stunning. That is amazing. Because I tell you amazing. what, I would play h8 equals queen every day of the week here. <laughs> yes. And that, to, 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 to see this as a draw... Is, is actually totally stunning to me. Ladies and gentlemen. That's crazy. That, that was it for today. We, we reached, we, we, we got nine points. That's better than nothing. Yeah. It's better than nothing. But and, we learned a lot. <laughs> and we learned a lot today. Uh, it's so much fun always. Lawrence, thank you so much for your tactics. I hope thank everybody you. enjoys them as much as I do. We see each other soon again. Bye-bye for now. Take care. Bye-bye.